Go inside the motherfucking building, nigga. The motherfucking pilot just landed, nigga. It's a street class. Yeah, man. Chick of the pilot, man. It's been a minute. He just recently dropped crumbs to Los. You know what I'm saying? New tape this year. How long? What, what's some of the production you got on the tape? Shit, I mean, uh, I had to keep it all the way 100 and fuck with my nigga 100. Yeah. I fucked with my nigga Dangerous MC. And then yeah. everything else was really, it was just, uh, you know, like, instrumentals of me jagging other niggas' beats and shit. Cause honestly, I feel like shit, these niggas ain't fucking with me. These niggas spitting bullshit on these beats anyway. Nigga might as well take that shit and put that real fly levitation on that shit. You know how that shit be, you know what I mean? Now, what a... What a pot uh, what Pacheco the pilot the name come from? Nigga Pacheco, you know what I'm saying? That word right there, that mean peso, you know what I mean? Peso mean money. Motherfucker, if you don't know what money mean, that mean you ain't got no motherfucking purpose, nigga. You need a purpose with your life, you feel me? I got that name just being on the cut, nigga, keep some poke, you know what I'm saying? Nick K Swan used to that shit as a young nigga and I just took it and ran, you feel me? But like once a nigga got the flow on it and being in the studio and shit, a nigga just felt like a nigga was, you know what I'm saying, fly than the rest of these niggas. And a nigga just start saying, pilot, pilot. I'm fly like a motherfucking pilot. Nigga like, shit, the chick got a pilot, you know what I'm saying? And shit, it went from a couple niggas calling me that shit to a nigga just, you know what I mean, going and shooting off with the shit. But pilot mean player in life on top, you know what I'm saying? Profit, independent, legend, original Texas nigga, you feel me? Yeah. Real spirit. Yeah, I like the ideology behind the name and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about the goon side movement, you know what I'm saying? Normally, you know what I'm saying, when you hear goon side, you hear about Los and Pachico, you know what I'm saying? Y'all like the forefront of this goon side shit as far as on the music side. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about that. Man, shit, look, back in the day, it's crazy, cause like, what niggas don't understand when a nigga say go on side, like, that shit, three hoods that really didn't even fuck with each other back in the gap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Back in the gap, nigga be at each other's head fighting the KFC. I'm talking about scrapping hard in the bitch, you feel me? Like, back in the gap, nigga used to be at each other's neck, but nigga lost so many soldiers in the, in the in this game, in this time, you know what I'm saying? While we been here and shit. So, it came to a point to we were like, all my niggas on the keys to poke in, we like shit. Damn, we tired of losing niggas, you know what I'm saying? All my niggas, Los, all his niggas in Hampton Terrace, Hollow Point, the whole ski, they like shit. And we tired of all these other fuck ass niggas coming together and, and clicking on some real niggas when really we the most solid in the motherfucking city, you feel me? So shit, we took our hoods and put them hoes together, you know what I'm saying? Some thoroughbred niggas. And that's why we call that shit gone side. Cause it ain't just one hood. If it one hood, we, you know, that's the hood, nigga. It's the whole section, nigga. We connected on lead better. That's Hollow Point, Hampton Terrace, the Keys of Poke, you feel me? Nigga, I respect that, nigga. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? This shit, nigga, just, we lost Serge, lost Brock, lost Hiller. Lost Zoe, lost J Rock, lost a lot of hitters, you know what I'm saying? A lot of real niggas. And it brought us together, fam, for, for a better purpose, you hear me? Yeah. Cause niggas ain't fucking with it. Yeah. Real. And now what's up with the uh what's the word on the Goon Side movie part two? Shit, uh right now we getting like all the actors together, all the scene selections and shit. We got our directors that we working with, man, this shit gonna be a fool, I'm telling you. I mean, just after the response we got off the first one, we we ain't Did you expect that response? Like Bro. To do what it did. I know people still be hitting y'all up about this shit. Y'all gotta re up on that shit anyway. This shit kinda like scary, you feel me? Like it it nigga be in places, bro, motherfucker looking at you like like it's a problem. And where we from, where I'm from, you feel me, nigga get the mug, you know it's on site, you feel me? And it don't even be that. It be more or less of a nigga like saluting, like recognizing a nigga. It don't be no mug. It be a nigga like, damn, that's yeah. that's goon side, that's Chico. Yeah. I ain't expecting real spirit, little. Yeah, that was a good look, man. That was, was a good look blessing, for us. Man. For real shout I out like to everybody this shit. in that goon side move too, man. The whole stiff nigga. Yeah, man, Oak Cliff has been growing like as far as like on the on the whole entertainment side, like Oak Cliff has been growing. Like a motherfucker, it's like a lot of talent is coming from this end on the music side. That's dope, man. It's like this whole city as a whole is starting to grow and I'm seeing the progression and shit. Like from when you got into the game to now, what you what what's some of the differences you noticed? We at these niggas neck and I feel like shit, my side of town, nigga, we just still. That wasn't it come from. Right now we living up to our name. We ain't playing no games, ain't no lanes. Every nigga in the front, nigga, I can vouch for and I can tell you. 
say something about it, you hear me? And we coming, you hear me? It's a it's a it's a change game and we got that we got that spotlight. Niggas ain't playing with pennies, niggas playing with rats, niggas playing with bands and niggas investing now. Niggas ain't bullshit, niggas ain't niggas ain't recording in the studio coming out and expecting million dollar dreams. Niggas is putting million dollars into their dreams and now they you know what I'm saying? It's a it's a different nigga getting different results nowadays, you know what I mean? And niggas just stand ten toes, bro. My side, hold stiff, nigga, we stand ten toes, nigga. Hey, that's the difference from right now. Ain't no boogie shit. It's real deal niggas that'll get your get on your ass, nigga, and leave your ass boogie and nigga on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Real spirit. Yeah, man. Now back to Crumbs the Los, man. Like what what was the whole thing with like why the name Crumbs the Los? I mean, nigga, this my city, fam. Like, niggas started with nothing, you know what I mean? And nowadays I see too many niggas glorifying the top is of the hill, the, the, the high peak. I had to really like break it down and to the people that I see on an everyday basis, to the motherfuckers that's listening to me, I had to like break it down to these niggas like I started with nothing. My nigga, you gotta start with nothing with a with a, with a mind frame that you gonna get it, nigga, and grind it all the way up, nigga, crumbs the lows. You look in the Bible, my nigga, bro, Jesus took one piece of bread and fed. The whole hood. You hear me, man? Crumbs the lows, man. Like, it ain't really what you got, my nigga. It's what you get. What, like, the grind and the determination and the dedication that you got behind what you got, my nigga, that, to where you can take what you got and take it across the world, fam. Nigga, why you think a nigga was living in Cali three, four months, fam? Come on, bro. I was Cali. See, that hoe was bananas, nigga. The best fucking weed ever. You hear me out of like, nigga blow like, imagine walking down the street, nigga rolling the, the ladders of the ladders, sipping nothing but oil. Like I was just, just passing you like it ain't shit. Designer damn bad bitches everywhere, palm trees, like, I'm going back to Cali. <laughs> you hear yeah. me, for real. I was down there like three, three and a half months, man. Just, you know, jugging, getting it in, you know what I mean? I got a lot of people down there, so. It was lovely, man. Shout out to Bram Street. Shout out to Bram Street, blood. Shout out to Crenshaw. Shout out to Big Home. Shout out to the Ransom. All that, man. Everybody that held me down when I was down there. Shout out to Peter at the studio, nigga, on Hollywood Boulevard. I really got the experience of the, the shit a lot of niggas be rapping about that I ain't never seen. Never uh, seen. Bro. I gotta spend their whole bank account to do. All this off of blessings, fam. Don't get it twisted, bro. When I say crimes and loss, I say that because, nigga, I'm doing this shit. I did this shit with nothing, nigga. Ask me how much I, I dropped that mixtape in a week. Nigga, I recorded all that shit in a week, fam. And that's real spill. Palms and lows, nigga. Yeah, man. Been doing a lot of traveling and shit. I know you be fucking with uh, TSF, you know what I'm saying? Sauce, Sauce? and shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got that's a nice little movie, man. Hey, man, that's the motherfucker. That's my motherfucking family, you hear me? Every time I'm in Houston, it's what you need, bro. Nah, nigga ain't trying to take from a nigga. It's like a nigga trying to. Elevate a nigga, everybody elevating each other, you feel me? I salute a nigga, real niggas getting that check, you know what I mean? Yeah. Got they own, they own style. Yeah. I salute a nigga that do his own and, and, thing. And speaking of our own style, man, the crumbs, the lows, you really own some real rap talking to the people, like, yo, the whole style. Like, I've been, a, I've been listening to your music for a minute, and I must say, like, this tape, I can hear the elevation of your flow on this bitch. Like, really like you done elevated on a whole other level of rapping. Like, really? I like this shit, fam. Like, like your whole flow, the whole demeanor on that whole is different. Like, you really, you, you starting to get in your mode. You starting to find your line and your sound. And like, I salute this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I want you to keep pushing and keep going. And like you said, crumbs to lows. Man, you, we done, we done seen each other grow. You know what I'm saying? With this shit. And you know what I'm saying? I, I, I expect big things from you, bro. Like It's coming, man. Real talk. I think, really, the reason why, you know what I'm saying, the mixtape was so much of a, a, a man, a success is because a nigga was comfortable. My nigga, true. Man, salute true, man, for real, man. That's my motherfucking brother, dog. That nigga had me comfortable. I go in there some days, bro, just hot headed, mad than a bitch. Nigga, true, throw me a blunt. Nigga, light that shit up. Nigga, get in that studio and do what you need to do. He really was like, fuck. He was like my 40 to Drake, you know what I mean? Like, nigga really had me comfortable. And not only that, it's like, truthfully, when a nigga say Chico, they, I'm not on the like, you know what I mean? Look fly, look flash, woo woo. Nigga don't really know, bro. I lost it all, bro. I really did fall off and did scratch back the crumbs, my nigga. I really did have to come from nothing and make it back to something, you hear me? That shit really did happen to me. So, with that going on in my life, my nigga, it only made me focus more on this music. It really only gave me more hunger and more 
more motherfucking flame in his stomach, nigga, to spit. And that's what I've been doing. And I ain't trying to rap and try to make a nigga feel like I'm sliding down in forges. Now nah, I'm telling true stories, like rest in peace, Corey. Real nigga that put on for the hood. Like I'm, say man, this game, man, really, it, it, it's, it's, it, it ain't free, you feel me? But for the niggas that's fucking with C, just download the CD, man. You gonna get all the game you need, my nigga, to be successful. You need my niggas to greatness, man. I want all, all my niggas kings, man. All the females around me queens, man. Now we finessing for the shit, nigga. You know what it is.